Hello friends, uh, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube channel. So we all know in this playlist we are purely discussing about AWS and DevOps jobs opportunities, right? This is video number five. If any person missed past four videos, right? I've given the uh, link for those videos in this video's description. Go ahead and have a look on it. In this uh, video, right? Specifically, I'm gonna target for uh, resume preparation. Okay, again, I'm planning to make it as a three. Uh, video small small video because if i cover all those things in single video right it'll be literally overload to you so i'm planning to make it as a three different uh, part okay as a resume preparation so here i'm gonna start so i have a, a dummy resume which created by me uh, let me share my screen and i can show you that okay so this is a resume format guys which i have prepared for this video uh, I believe uh, this is something going to be informative to all of you and also uh, by end of this video, right, uh, you will came to know what is the proper format of the resume should be and how to update it. Okay, so fine. Uh, so uh, when you talk about resumes, right, it is having with a different uh, format. Okay, some people will having in this color, some people will having on that color. Okay, background is plain, background is colorful. They have created a, some multiple portions of the same page. So whatever, you know, uh, design you which follows, uh, try to have it as a formal, you know, neat format. No need to, you know, collapse and putting all the information, you know, comprising your uh, size of your font, everything into very low. Okay, so try to avoid those things. And few people, right, has mentioned their uh, logos, the certification logos okay don't mesh up with that okay if you have it anything keep it as neat as possible some of them you know uh, putting so many certification logos in the top okay which creates you know very uh, uh, bad when look at the resume okay and even i have a column i have a section for uh, detailing about the certification i'll show you where to mention in the same profile itself i believe this is the profile uh, which is really good for everyone very neat and simple you don't want to spend too much of time in the profile nobody gonna you know uh, give you a job when you're uh, too much time if you spend in your resume no one going to give you additional grace mark nothing like that so as easy as possible saving our time okay so giving you the presenting the resume in neat format that is really good and i would recommend to all of you to ideally take three major colors uh, when you are planning for your resume so what i have done uh, for my name and my email id this important field right because hr they will definitely reach back to me using this uh, things so provide that i have provided in blue color so here i have removed uh, my phone number here actually my phone number should be due to this uh, public video right due to that reason i have removed it also i kept my photos also over here okay those things i have removed due to the privacy reason so on the headings right uh, resume heading i i went with this color you know or uh, kind of you know uh, cherry red not the exact red okay brownish uh, red if it is giving exact red right it will give you an alert symbol you know you're not supposed to follow that kind of a brown i, I can say you know honey color so fine and the text right i have you know uh, made it in the default black color and wherever it's important keywords that right, i've highlighted like this in the uh, black uh, bold color okay ideally i follow so font size is 12 so headings everyone i went with the capital letters remain all at go with the normal one okay so fine i'll try to explain you uh, what is the way we need to update our profile what are the important points we need to keep in our profile all those things i'll explain so coming to summary so if someone takes your profile right first uh, we need to give the uh, introduction about the, the uh, your job description and the, which technology you are familiarized with uh, what is your overall experience and uh, what is your current <laughs> you know strongest area all those things you need to convey them summary helps you to give the uh, short and crips in uh, crypt information about your profile so that is the reason if you could see multi-cloud architect with devops engineer with nine plus years of uh, you know cloud architecture and implementation experience a comprehensive enterprise cloud infrastructure built aws azure gc and devops best practices infrastructure as a code terraform cloud formation and orchestration with uh, kubernetes itself with creation of high quality solution that is scalable highly available fault tolerance tolerant to enterprise school devops and cloud security expertise so this almost which covers uh, and describes the person who has this profile who has a multi-cloud exposure with aws and gcp and you do have a exposure with the devops and terraform okay and other uh, you know uh, cloud formation and kubernetes uh, kind of uh, uh, 
uh, services and the devops tools he worked with in addition to that he has a good exposure with the scalable and high availability fault tolerance okay for kind of enterprise goal everything he has a good exposure finally completing the sentence with uh, security expertise okay we also involved in the security uh, perspective in the devops and cloud okay this gives you a, a sharp summary uh, yeah exactly if you guys are going try to have similar point like this or you wanted to add any other point better than this uh, proceed with that but make sure you are giving the proper summary by reading the summary people have to understand where you come from okay ma? all right so professional summary so multi cloud uh, in this professional summary right i have detailed explanation about uh, what are the technology i worked of course i have explained about my projects and other things in upcoming uh, you know uh, pages but here this is a professional summary so by by the mixture of all three you know i in my career i have mentioned here as a three different companies i worked based on all three companies right i have mixtured and i gave the uh, overall you know important highlights in the prof prof professional summary in the professional summary right we can even uh, mention what are the technologies mostly worked okay you can even read out multi-cloud expert and devops engineer with nine years of experience in organization you know presentations preparing facility report and maintaining the most confidentiality so where i worked on multi-cloud environment with nine plus years of experience so organizing uh, when there is an internal presentation or any report to be present to our client okay maintaining a most confidential information and the project budget okay everything uh, a to z which covers so i'm the person who works on that particular environment right terraform scripts from scratch building a dev and test and prod environment so of course today if you mention terraform that is a key point to you why because most of the people in every environment they started using terraform try to have a terraform as early as possible then expertise in aws implementing new ec2 vpc s3 cloudwatch cloud trial aws organization kms auto scaling iam route 53 cloudwatch kks ecr cloud function uh, cloud uh, formation and lambda these are the services which i have a uh, you know good uh, hands on i have mentioned here if you have anything additional to that you can feel free to mention that coming to Azure start from virtual machine, Azure virtual network, Azure Active Directory, Azure ARM, Azure Backup and Storage, DR, AKS, ACR. These are the services, right? I have a good exposure with Azure. If you have anything else, you can mention it. And coming to GCP, right? Okay. Uh, which is something called as a Google Cloud platform. Compute Engine, uh, Cloud Functions, uh, Google Cloud Virtual Network, uh, Load Balancing, Google Cloud IAM. Like these are the services. I have a very good exposure with the Google. So some people right will ask, hey, Harry, I don't have an exposure of all multi-cloud, man. So in that case, what supposed to I do? So what you need to do, try to expand the AWS itself as much as possible and mention all the services. That way you have to manage. When you have not having a multi-cloud uh, no, uh, exposure, uh, try to reduce it. Why? Because when you are uh, becoming you know multi-cloud expert, uh, when you are becoming multi-cloud expert, you can you know uh, ask for a more salary, by the way. Okay. So yeah, of course, I'm planning to make another one video for a salary uh, negotiations and uh, what are the expected salary we can ask and what is the yeah, market uh, current uh, salary structure, all those things regarding that. I'm preparing a data for that. If anyone uh, want a video on that topic, kindly mention that in the comment section. So which motivate me to create a video. If you really need that video, kindly put it in the comment section. Fine. Uh, launching and configuring Amazon Easy to Instance using uh, AMI, Linux and Ubuntu. Designed and implementing scalable secure cloud architecture, Amazon Web Services. So of course, whenever there is a need, I mentioned in such a way, we'll launch the easy instance of Amami. Setting up the script for creating a new snapshot and deleting a old snapshot. S3 worked on setting up the lifecycle policies, backup data from S3 to AWS Glacier, worked on IAM console, create a custom user group, worked on the various AWS EC2 and S3 tools. So by this big paragraph, right, I'm you know, literally telling them now. We are working with the EC2 instances whenever there is a snapshot needed, we'll be taking it manually. Also, we rented a script to take all the backups and things like that. And uh, we have also mentioned AWS3 Glacier to work with IAM console to create an user and group. Okay, all those things we are taking care. Supporting AWS Cloud Environment 300 plus account, Azure 38 subscription, GCP. This is our infrastructure actually. 300 plus AWS accounts, not a user account, it's a digital account. Uh, Azure subscription, 60 plus GCP projects. And the work done uh, infrastructure with the Docker containerization and Kubernetes is being used to orchestrate and deploy the scaling the management of uh, Docker containers. Okay, work done the infrastructure with the Docker containerization and Kubernetes is being used for our orchestration. So mostly we deploy uh, things to Docker 
and Kubernetes on top of that only we deploy our application. Here I mentioned like I used the Jenkins pipeline to drive all the Terraform automation, Docker registry, then deploy the Kubernetes, create a pod, manage it using uh, Kubernetes, all those things, right? We have deployed it using a Jenkins pipeline only. Okay, that part I have highlighted because without the pipelines uh, today, you cannot expect any project and DevOps environment. So that is the reason which pushed me to mention this part. Okay. Expert in IT IL process to handle the incident request, uh, problem status and change request uh, process. Excellent interpersonal documentation and overall communication skill, positive work attitude. Okay, so of course, when you go any corporate environment, right, we should uh, be following the ITL process. When I am following the ITL process, uh, that is more good in terms of, you know, day-to-day uh, -day operations, also a change management and other, uh, you know, process activity. So, I have literally mentioned here, so work uh, based on the process, okay. This is what I mentioned in the uh, summary and professional summary. Uh, if you come down, right, I have mentioned in the uh, professional experiences. Okay, these are my previous company where I part of. I've started my career with a uh, you know uh, Wipro in Chennai 2013 to 2016 and uh, CSE Software Limited Bangalore. Over there, I worked for this particular period. So this gives you the company and the duration which you part of. Okay, try to instead of mentioning all those things and in detail, uh, try to have it in the high level and do not mention your client name. Some people, right, they used to mention their client name. Don't do that. Because when you part of any organization, the client name and the project name is something confidential to you. Okay, something confidential to you, which is not supposed to be exposed to others. Okay, so make sure you are not sharing your client information to anyone else. Understand? So, all right. So, coming to the education part, I have mentioned clearly. So, I have started my career with the diploma. So, in diploma, again, I have worked on the computer engineering from Chennai Velamal. So, engineering, I have completed in Chennai MIT and the MBA, right? I have completed in the SRM Chennai. So try to mention your education as simple as possible because some of them will mention 90%, 92%, no need of it. If you are passed, right, that's fine. Okay. So nobody going to ask your marks and all. So coming to the certification, right, here is the place I have dedicatedly, this section I have dedicatedly given for uh, certification. So, so far I completed AWS Solution Architect Associate and Microsoft Certification and Windows Server Certification and, you know, uh, Windows Server so I have completed two certification. So I do have other things also, Dev, uh, Dell, ITIL, like many other certifications which are not really needed so i didn't mention it so if you have any certification try to mention as like this some of them will mention this is my certification uh, registration id this is the pass certification id no need of it no one asked it okay so no one going to validate that also if you are certified try to mention it here this is, looks simple and neat okay key skill this is very important guys by uh, adding all those information right their key skill is very very very, very important here we have opportunity to directly pull put our uh, uh, key skill in my career. See, I mentioned like AWS Cloud, Azure, GCP, Python, Boto3. I am good in writing Python, Boto3, so I mentioned that. And Terraform for infrastructure code and cloud formation. Jenkins for CICD, Git uh, for version control and uh, source code management. And Bitbucket also, Ansible, Puppet, Solstack, Docker, Kubernetes. So these are the strength, I would say, in my profile. Uh, of course, this is what they are in the industry also. So I have mentioned as much as possible. So when you have these key skills, right, it will be really, really uh, good actually. Okay. So this is the first two page of your profile. Only six pages are there. We need to review. Each video I'm planning to review two to uh, two, two pages actually. First two pages, this one. Okay. So fine guys. I hope this is informative to you. So what I'll do, I maybe uh, I'll share this content and everything with you. This is the remaining two, remaining pages, right? We'll review on upcoming sessions and I do have a another one this is my google drive where i have a solution for all the docker and kubernetes and aws and devops concept everything available over here if you go to devops videos everything is available here devops roadmap python part 2 part 3 boto 3 cloud formation terraform docker kubernetes everything and another uh, best practice about this drive right here if you go interview data here there is something called resumes when you go resumes there are lots of uh, sample resumes are updated here so interview question and dumps all the area resolution architect uh, you know dumps and interview questions also available here and daily notes everything you know real time scenario this is task and error based document everything okay scripts everything i updated over here this complete drive access anybody needed right this course is actually we are conducting a live course for 20000 if anyone need this complete drive access right with the, all the interview material and the aws and devops somewhere around 50 hours of course uh, together aws and devops with real time project scenarios basis 
all the interview data if anyone need access to this drive right you can you know uh, reach us okay in the description i mentioned my whatsapp number if anyone need access to this drive you can reach out in the 50 percentage of cost we are giving it to all of you okay if anyone need a complete drive access this will definitely help you uh, along with this uh, profile at all so if anyone need i'm not forcing anyone if anyone need that a complete drive access uh, the actual course is 20 up to 20000 we are taking it if anyone need with uh, 50 percentage of discount you can reach us uh, in the, the whatsapp or something i'll put this in our description uh, you can reach out to that whatsapp uh, along with this video description the people who are coming from this video right they'll get a flat 50 percent discount from your actual cost okay so fine guys uh, thank you everyone i will meet uh, resume preparation second video so we have us uh, four more pages next two pages will be reviewed on next video and last two pages will be reviewed on last uh, videos okay thank you everyone kindly subscribe my channel so like this video if you really liked it i want all of you to comment on my video why because the comment will motivate me to make upcoming videos all right so thank you guys take care bye bye